All right, this is a video about replacing the ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor in a 2005 Nissan Murano. So, as you can see, all I have done right now is taking the wheel off, the tire off, and this is where the speed sensor is located, right behind the rotor, brake rotor. And um, all it has, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. It's got a rubber mounting boot right here that you just pull out and then it goes into the fender well right here there's another little boot right here you gotta pull out and this is gonna show up on the upper side and um, so after taking this little bolt you're gonna go up all you gotta do with this thing is just pull it it will come right out and this is the problem See, it's been broken. So we had a code for the right and left, and you can tell this thing is broken, and that's why it's been throwing the ABS light. So, you know, hopefully this is gonna go well. So if we come up here, you can see the wire coming. Um, let's see, right, right under the power steering reservoir or power steering fluid reservoir right there so thinking we're gonna have to remove the coolant reservoir it's got one two ten millimeter bolts we'll take it off and see how it goes all right so after we take in the two ten millimeter bolts what we got to do is pull it up from the hole the reservoir you don't have to take the hole so you don't waste no antifreeze and as you can see this is the wire so it's a really simple job we just gonna go ahead and unplug it you see that little lock right there you just push on it and pull and let it fall down through the hole and this is the same procedure to, to put the new one in there so you're not just um trying to do this one and on this car we're doing both sides so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the other side too so this is the new one, came from Advanced Auto Parts. It was a little expensive, it was 100 and what, $113 might cost. So if you don't have a commercial account with them, it might, it might be a little expensive. But that's the part number, ABS 396. That will go for a 2005 Nissan Murano. It might fit some other cars, but this is for the one that I'm working on. So as you can see, brand new in the bag. Nobody had opened it, so we'll go ahead and start it and see how it looks. Alright, so we got the right side done. As you can see, it's already came through the hole and plugged back where it goes. We look down here, everything was where it's supposed to be, the little boot. Number one, number two, little boot, three, and the sensor, it's been installed and tightened down. So, as I told you, I'm about to do the left side, so we'll see how that one looks. All right, so we are on the left side, driver's side. <clears throat> it's gonna be the same process. Uh, <clears throat> if you look at it, the sensor is already out. Remember, it's a 10 millimeter right there. And it's got three boots holding it, holding the wire, so one, there's another one right here too, and this one is three. Now, this one right here is gonna be a little easier to get it out from the top. I'm gonna show you why. You can squeeze your hand under there. You see the little, that blue pigtail right there? That's the plug for the sensor. So if you can squeeze your hand under the master flow sensor right here, you know, you should be able to get it out. I'm not gonna do it right now with the camera on, but that's the sensor right there. You can see the hole where the wire comes into it you know that was where the wire comes out now i am gonna give you a little tip right here why this sensor was uh <clears throat> this light was um coming on on the car you see the sensor is broken wow this little thing cost 112 dollars but i'm gonna tell you what happened if you look straight in the hole you see somebody replaced the uh, hub assemblies you know they replaced the wheel bearings 
and they didn't know what in the world they were doing so what they did is they just pulled and pushed the wheel bearing not caring about what position they will they were putting it on so now if you can see right there you see the hole there's a little sheen cover behind the wheel bearing that little hole needs to be aligning with this sensor hole and if you see right there there's no hole for the sensor to slide in so in other words you should have uh, they should have took the sensor out before they put the wheel bearing in you know but at this point you know the customer got a little screw and um he ended up buying both of the sensors because uh what i'm doing right now it's i'm gonna have to replace i mean not replace but remove the hub assembly and put it the way it's supposed to go on or in the right position so you know that wasn't included in the video it was just about the wheel speed sensors but i just thought about giving you this tip you know if you see a broken sensor might as well you know check which position that little shim cover is behind it because he, you can probably try to screw the other one in and you're gonna break it too so hope uh this video is helpful and uh, i'm gonna show you how it looks when it's done all right so this is the new one for the um driver's side as you can see i done um fixed the problem with the hub assembly now this is the part number you're going to be looking out for the left side wheel speed sensor for 2005 nissan murano abs 400 so if you got that part number you got the right one this is the way it's going to come nobody had opened it you know so this is the new one see how it looks installed all right so i got the last one done already tightened down you see one two three little boots uh, that hold them and we are done with this job you see the little blue plug like i told you you don't have to remove nothing on this side and it should be a simple job if you know a little bit about mechanics so all you have to do is you know take the wheels and you're gonna have access to everything so and like i said you know if you need this instructions in Spanish, please comment below and um, hopefully that you like the video, like it, share and subscribe. Thank you.